Hello. Outlook 2007 signatures. Basics. I don't want to show you anything real fancy with HTML code and all that stuff. We'll just do some basic stuff. If you want a signature added to all your emails that go out or you reply to, um, you know, a little, uh, little thing saying your first name and whatever business you're with or what website you're with or whatever. Uh, it's pretty simple. There's a couple ways of getting to it. One way is going to Tools, Options, Mail Format, Signatures. And here you can... Um, uh, the basic way where, where I'll show you how I'll, I'll set mine out for our PC, my PC Addicts account. Okay, I'm going to select new, type a name for the signature. I'm going to call it um, eh, PC Addicts. Why not? Now it opens up your little editor down here. Uh, I'm going to leave all that default. Actually, that I want to leave default and I want to. Eh, let's just get it set. Okay, first thing that I like to do is I like to hit enter. So it brings the cursor down once. So there's the space right there. So that's one less key I have to hit every, uh, on every email. It kind of separates the signature. You can do however you like, but uh, that's my. I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna put my first name and hit enter. And I want to put uh, PC. Man, I can't type this morning. Addicts uh, founder. And let's do. Actually, we'll do PC Addicts hyphen founder. This is boring stuff for you guys, but hey. And then I'll put uh, I'll put something else like the website name. I'll just go www.pcaddicts. Man, it's slow or something. Dot TV. I think when I'm recording, it's slow. I don't know. Anyways, all right. That's kind of the standard what I want to do. Okay. Um, but what I don't like is it just doesn't look nice. So. The way I like to usually do it is bold that and then shrink these down to about nine. Kind of looks a little better. And you can add a phone number, whatever you want. But um, choose a default signature for my Chris at PCAddicts.com. And you can select, like, uh, on every new message, I want it to go on. I want it to use uh, the PC Addicts one by default and replies and forwards. Well, you know what? in this case I don't but if you had like one email account or a main email account you may want to select it here um, you don't have to and I'll show you why I'll just leave it as none okay hit OK hit OK now let's hit a new email oh it does put it in there oh maybe because I did select it that's odd but anyways let's say let's say you had multiple signatures you click on signature and you can select it here which one you want if you had, you know, signature for different uh, email accounts. You shouldn't have put that in by default. Being as, let's see, let's go on this. Oh, and this is the other way to get to it. If you're in a new message email or a new message editor, you just click on messages, signature, and signatures. Now, hmm, that's really, that's really strange. Oh, maybe I hit cancel. Sorry. All right, let's hit OK. Let's close that. I don't want to save change. Let's test it again. All right, see, now there's nothing. I screwed up, though. But anyways, and then you can just select, hey, add that. And see how there's a big gap right there? That's nice. So when I'm typing this, going, hey, everyone, uh, we are cool here at uh, PC Addicts. And see, there's already a space, so I don't have to hit enter or anything like that. I can, Or I can and go, thank you, or whatever. So there's some basics. You can also add a picture in your signatures tools options mail format signatures and um, you know you could add a picture or something but uh, let's do sample pictures this is gonna be kinda goofy it's kind of a big one um, let's shrink it down but anyways you can add a picture to your signature if you had you know a, I don't know whatever whatever you want so there you go hope that helps